Hubert had a four year old daughter. Family members told me they realized something was wrong when they hadn't heard from him for two days. He was loved by everybody in the community. The last time anyone saw Jamal Hubert alive was Sunday morning. That's not like Jamal. He would call my mom. That's when family member Tiffany Rivers Smith called Hendry County Sheriff's Office to file a missing persons report. After two days, not anything from him, he not hearing from him, not even, you know, calling. It was like something's wrong. Deputies went to a cane field two miles from Crooked Hook Campground in Palm Beach County after a man working in the area found a body in a canal. When you found out that a body was found, did you think it was him? Immediately, it just went into panic mode. Today, deputies announced that body was indeed Hubert, leaving his friends and family members in shock. So the first thing you do when we do, we call the friends. Hey, you seen him, you seen him, you seen him. What's not my homie? That's not my friend. That's not my buddy. It can't be. It's more so of a, in denial. Hubert's death leaves his family with many unanswered questions. Of course, we want to know why, but we may not never get the why. Now their main mission is justice for Hubert. I want justice to be served. Whatever, whoever, it should never went down like this. And his four-year-old daughter, Adea. We want, you know, his daughter to know that she was loved. She still is loved. And we're not going to forget about her. We're going to keep his memory going. The family tells me they're planning Hubert's funeral for next Saturday morning at Mount Calvary Missionary Baptist Church here in Clewiston. If you have any information on Hubert's death, you're asked to call Hendry County Sheriff's Office. I'm live in Palm Beach County tonight. Victoria Reslow, NBC2.